Today, me and Carly plan to hit a few thrift stores here in our area and see if, well, I'm looking for shoes to resell, as you guys probably know. This isn't part of the Into the Sneakerverse series. We're just gonna go do some casual thrifting and uh, see what we can find. But first, I have some sales that I need to package up, so I figured I'd uh, show you guys what's selling for me lately. Now, I already pulled a few before I decided to start vlogging, so I'll show you guys those. Um, first off, I sold these Adidas ZX Flux for 30 bucks, and then we got three pairs of Vans over here. Uh, these Vans sold for 30. All these are on eBay so far. These vans also sold for, these ones went for 35, and then these surprisingly sold for full price of 49 plus shipping over there. And then on these Youth Jordan 11s, I got $35 plus $11 shipping, plus shipping on all those, as you guys know. And then in these envelopes, I've already packaged up. I got a pair of Danskos that sold for $39 plus shipping, and then a pair of Mickey Mouse vans. A lot of vans today. Those sold for $40 plus shipping. Now I still got a few more orders to pull, so let's do that now. I actually see one down on the bottom. If you guys caught a few vlogs back, uh, I picked up these Jordan 1 Dark Mochas from Plato's Closet. Uh, they were tagged at 90, but I had a 20% off discount, so it came to like, I wanna say 60 something, maybe closer to 70. Check out the comp, I'll pop it up on the screen. These sold for $200. $49 on Mercari. Uh, yes, since I switched over to Vindu, I have been cross-listing on Mercari. I mentioned this in a video, I don't know if it's posted yet, but I did mention in a video why I decided to start posting Mercari, basically just because Vindu makes it easy. But uh, to give you guys the quick synopsis of how that's been working, I've cross-listed 250 things to Mercari and I'm, I've made four sales. <laughs> it's, it hasn't been great. Uh, and those four sales were all things like, the Jordan 1s, I sold some Panda Dunks. It's all, it's all stuff that is going to sell on the other platform, so it's not like I'm listing things on Mercari that wouldn't sell elsewhere. Like, because on Poshmark, there's like a different market than on eBay. On Poshmark, there's definitely things that are going to sell on Poshmark that won't sell on eBay. And Mercari just doesn't have that going for it. But um, for at least the time being, I'm gonna keep cross-listing, especially over the summer since sales are a little slow right now. I'm just gonna cross-list a few things here and there onto Mercari since Vindu makes it so easy. All right, so the last two sales on eBay, oddly enough, I sold the two pairs of shoes that were right next to each other on the age 13 shelf. I just find it weird when number things happen like that. <laughs> but I sold these uh, baby Nike Prestos for $25 plus shipping. And then these women's foot joy golf shoes sold for $41.65 plus shipping. Now back to those those Jordan 1s that I sold. When I tell you it was a roller coaster of emotions, just let me show you this. So I sent out offers to Likers for $224 because they've been listed for probably like 30 days plus. And then they, for some reason, didn't accept that. They purchased them full price. And then they sent this message saying they accidentally bought them and they needed a refund. And then an hour later, because this happened at like probably 1 a.m., an hour later, they said, actually, never mind. It's okay. I'll take them. Sent a cancellation request and then canceled the cancellation request. Luckily, I think they want them. So hopefully they don't, they don't return them. I'm not too up to date on how Mercari is with returns, but uh, so far it's the best sale of the weekend. Well, it's not even the weekend, the best sale of the day. All right. So moving over to our Poshmark sales, we've got another pair of Vans. Uh, these were lower in sell. I typically try to move these this old school mile style in, especially in women's sizing for more of a fast nickel over a slow dime. So accepted a, an offer of $25 plus shipping on these. And then the last two Poshmark sales I've got, I first off, I apologize if you hear the guy blowing the, the grass clippings outside. It's it's obnoxiously loud and uh, it's just what I'm working with here. But I sold these Under Armour Hovix, Hover Sonic 5s for $40. And then I sold these Nike golf shoes for, well, these go for 35. Yeah, $35 on Poshmark, and these are actually, I got these for free. They were from uh, Carly's dad. They were her, they were his uh, old golf shoes. So, Mark, if you're watching this, I appreciate it. I made a, a whopping 28 bucks off these. Carly just made I it down here. here. How many sales you got going out? Six Poshmark. Six Poshmark. No, Zero eBay. No eBay? That's no. crazy. Clothing seller. I've been selling a lot of Athleta. Isn't that crazy? That's wild. Isn't it? All right, sales are all packaged up, uh, but I need to, I need to share a couple of gripes. Close your ears. I don't. I don't complain. Is it about me? Yeah, it's it's about Carly. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I got a return request just now, uh -oh. and the person said that they're returning the shoes because the leather on the inside of the Vans is cracking. And they sent this picture. I don't know if you if it doesn't focus, I'll just pop it up on the screen. What? <laughs> okay, now I have to see. It. It's the most minor. This is the one picture they submitted. I don't get it. 
but uh, but whatever. Happy to accept them back. I'll just sell them again. If um, they sold once, they'll sell again. If they sold once, they'll sell again if you didn't catch that. That's my gripes for the day. Um, we're going to get these dropped off at the post office and we're going to go do some drifting. Woo! Woo! Alrighty. Pulled up to the first stop. Carly's being an, an influencer. <laughs> what do you think you're going to find today? Um, I was going to say Rothy's, but I don't look in the shoes. <laughs> I, I just went for shoes. Alright, then I'm going to find some Rothy's. What are you going to find? Pyrex. Okay, Pyrex it is. All right, now before we hop into the first store of today's video, I need to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, eBay. You know how as online sellers, we can kind of get caught up in the day-to-day -day of making sure we hit our listing goal all the time and shipping every single day that we kind of forget to take care of ourselves and do like human things. Carly keeps telling me that she wants to get out of the house and go to the beach and I think that's a great idea. And the best part about it is I mainly sell on eBay and eBay makes it a breeze to take vacations. With the ability to change your handling time all the way up to 40 days, it really doesn't matter how long your vacation is eBay's gonna have you covered. And their time away settings basically put your entire store on autopilot with the option to set a custom message. So when a buyer messages you, it will send them a message saying when you can get back to them. So you don't have to worry about messaging them back while you are on vacation, as well as having the ability to put a banner on all of your listings stating how long you are going to be away. So buyers know that before making a purchase. Not to mention the ability to schedule out listings. So if you still wanna hit a daily listing goal, you can do that without even getting onto eBay. You can put your listings up in advance and schedule them out day by day while you're on vacation. So you know that fresh listings are getting put into your eBay store every single day while you're away. All of these options make it that much more easy to not only take care of your buyers, but also take care of yourself as an online seller. All right, so off the new cart, all I found were these Flynet Air Maxes. Uh, this is a newer model. They are $18, so I'm gonna have to look up pumps. And I just pulled off the shelf these Anhu boots. Uh, definitely out of season. Uh, gonna have to check on these, but they are only 10 bucks. All right, music is ridiculous, so we're getting a voiceover today. I saw these Air Force Ones, but $15 for some yellow midsoles. It's just a little too much. And then these Air Max, I wanna say like 2016s are on the bottom, but the condition, is pretty rough, so it wasn't about to uh, pick those up in that condition. Then up here, there was some like brand new-ish Nikes, but they were like $23, so left those behind. Here's another pair of those Air Max. Uh, I thought these were in a little bit better condition, so I put them in the cart to look them up. And then coming on down the aisle, I found these NMD Parley Ultra Boosts. They were $15, so another one that I needed to look up, but I do believe that I ended up passing on those. Then down on the bottom, here's another pair of Nikes that I looked at, but just a not a, not a very sought after model. And I saw these New Balances, and I know this is a newer model, so $15 is a really good deal. As you can see, they sell between $50 to $60 plus shipping over on eBay. I saw these Brooks Adrenaline uh, 22s, I think, for $8. They had a little stain on the upper, but I think I can get that out. So I went ahead and put those in the cart. I found these Flyknit uh, Nikes for, what did that say, $15, $10.99, something like that. Um, they, they'll sell all day between 40 and $50 plus shipping. Here's another pair, but I decided to pass on these just because of the condition and they were just a little bit more expensive and that model doesn't do quite as well. There was a couple more fly nets over here on the end, but both of these I ended up passing on because of the condition. And then turning around to the end cap on the top shelf, I found these Nobles. They were kind of pricey at $25, but they were in excellent condition. I still think that I can probably double my money on these. So I went ahead and put those in the cart. And I saw a couple pair of these Nike Monarchs. They were both $27. So unfortunately I didn't get either one of them, but this model has been doing pretty well for me recently. And then up above them, I found these Nike Pegasus that were a Patriots football collab. So for $13, that was a definitely, definitely a good deal. And then over in the kids section, I found these Prestos. I just thought it was funny because we sold some at the beginning of this video, um, but they were in too rough a condition. Same with these uh, little little posits, these foam posits. Good price, but the condition was a little rough. And then I also found these Air Force Ones in the kids section, but unfortunately these were $20 and just not really a, a model that's worth paying that much for. And then the couple shoes that you see in the cart that I got out of the men's section were these Reebok CrossFit Nano X1s and these Lugged Converse. Definitely some good prices on those. And then just a few pairs that I ended up having to put back. The Patriot Pegasus did have a tear in the upper mesh, so left those behind. These Air Maxes, I wasn't, in, I wasn't thrilled with how the bubble was a little, had a little give to it. And then the bottom of these fly nets were just a little too rough for me. So this is what we ended up walking away with. 
Alrighty, so it's been a $99 even. Kind of an expensive stop, but we got some good stuff. I mean, the, the Nobles, that's a good $60, $70 sale. These uh, Air Max Flyknit Racers, this is like a newer Air Max to release. I th these are listed around 100 bucks, but realistically, probably you get like 70 out of them. Um, and then these Brooks were the only thing that were like a decent price, but the, I think they priced them because they had these stains on them. But I think I'm going to show you guys a little trick to get these stains out. I think that I can get these out pretty easy, but other than that, just a bunch of basic stuff. These lugged Converse were pretty cool, but that's all. Heading to the next stop. I found some Abercrombie shorts. Whoa. These have been selling for like $30. Whoa. And then some Aritzia shorts and some Everlane jeans. Nice. We got another stop coming up. Tummies are hurting, but we're pushing through, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered when we were in the last Goodwill, Carly sold a pair of Athleta I and did. she just told you guys that she's been selling a lot of Athleta. That's three this morning. Like just this morning since I woke up. Just this morning. It's because I got the Athleta Helpsy box, so I was like, testing Stop it plugging out. your your help. Use seat. code styled by Carly for 10%. Just use code cut. <laughs> just use code styled by Carly on dealing with for 10% that off your drinks. That also works. Yeah. <laughs> Influencer. Stop number two. We have made it. I'm so excited. <laughs> I still haven't found Rothy's and she has, I still hasn't found Pyrex. I did find Pyrex, but it was a modern. Oh, you did? Modern oh. lowercase letter. That doesn't like count. Like Walmart Pyrex. Was it clear? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't count. Thank you. All right, moving on into the next stop. The first pair that I saw were these Sorrells, but unfortunately they had those priced up at $30. I also found these Salomon Gore-Tex shoes that looked almost brand new for 20. That was a good price, but they were a youth size. So I had to look up comps and unfortunately passed on those. And then those Converse, I ended up leaving those because of the condition. Same with these Asics and same with these Chacos, all three. Just the condition wasn't quite up to what I was looking for. And then I found these Vans, but unfortunately $15, a bit too much for Vans in my opinion. And then these Nike Hirachis were uh, $10, so I ended up looking those up, and they just weren't quite selling for what I was looking for. But these on clouds were probably the best find of, the, of this stop, at least. Uh, definitely an easy pickup on those at $10. And then down below, I found these older Brooks. Uh, I ended up passing on those because the tread was kind of worn out. Then I found a pair of women's Cole Haan's kind of like slip-on Chelsea style boots for 13. That's just an easy bread and butter Cole Haan women's sale. And then I found another pair of Cole Haan's. These were in men's and these should sell between $30, $40 plus shipping. And then I also found these UGG Chukka boots for $13. So I went ahead and grabbed those. These Reebok weightlifting shoes, sorry, Adidas weightlifting shoes caught my eye because they can sell for a lot of money, but that model specifically really didn't sell for very much. But I also found these Reebok CrossFit shoes with like the wider toe box. So that's an easy pickup. The CrossFits always do really well. And I found these Brooks, but the uppers just were really faded. So left those behind. And then up on the top shelf, I found another pair of Uggs. Ended up leaving these behind, just another one that's not really selling right now in the middle of the summer. Kind of same situation with these North Face boots. These were also kind of expensive at $25. So trying not to pick up too many boots right now because, you know, middle of summer, they're not quite selling. But still a nice model of North Face. Probably would have grabbed them if they were around $10, $15. And then down here on the end of the shelf, there was just like white Nike Air Force One galore down here. But all of them, as you can see, were in terrible condition. So I didn't pick any of those up. And then moving on, the last pair that I ended up looking up at this stop were these Todd's. Todd's can retail for a lot of money, but unfortunately at $15, there wasn't really much resale history in pre-owned condition on those, so left those behind. Can you tell me what you just said? Don't you guys think this would be a cute purse? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Well, we finished up at this stop. We got a post office over there. Amazing. All right, what'd we spend, what'd we spend? I had rewards to use, so I saved $5.85. So I paid $56.56. Highlight of the trip was probably the on clouds. Um, these Reebok. On clouds. On clouds. These, uh, these Reebok CrossFits have a. I wonder what size these are because these are kind of nice. They're a women's size 10. Um, they got a wide toe box, like super flat for lifting. These are nice. I've never found this model of CrossFits before, but pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Time to go to the post office. Whoa. You're V aesthetic for a minute. You're V aesthetic for a minute. Oh wow, look at that. Maybe I should get something for. Wow, v, so aesthetic. v aesthetic. Wow, <laughs> let's pop into this Goodwill, see if we can find some shoes to resell online. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what we can find at this next stop. First pair that I saw were these Adidas. They had this like weird animal skin texture. They were $15, so decided to 
look those up. I think that that leather on the toe looked like ostrich leather. I don't know. I uh, found these uh, shell toe superstars, whatever you want to call those, but they were a little too expensive. Some Nike golf shoes, but the bottoms looked like they were dry rotting, like all the cleats had fallen off and stuff. I found these Nike free 5.0s down on the bottom. I think those were $13. So put them in the cart. That's typically, you know, a, a lower selling Nike, but you know, a nice bread and butter pickup. Uh, I thought about these Justins for a while, but they were a very small size. I did put them in the cart to look up comps, but I don't think I ended up picking those up. These Asics were in really good condition, but they were missing insoles and $15 is just a little too much. It's definitely an older style. So left those behind found another pair of Nike Hirachis. These were uh, a premium style, I guess, Nike Hirachi premium. $13, not too bad. Uh, accidentally dropped it, you know, being nice and clumsy here. Uh, these Nike React Visions were down on the bottom in terrible condition. The uppers were so stained, but they wanted $20, so I had to leave those behind. And I found these Ufos, but flipping them over, I could see that they were well worn, so I had to leave those behind. And then on the end shelf, I found some Vapor Max, but my intuition was telling me they were fake, and I think they were like $45, so left those behind. And up on the top shelf, these Nike Air Max Tailwinds, they wanted $40 for these. I think that's probably what I could get for them on eBay, so definitely left those. These Nikes were like Gore-Tex trail shoes. I'm not sure the exact model, but ended up needing to look them up, but ultimately left them behind because the condition just wasn't quite there and then next to them were also these nike free runs and these bionics both just a little too expensive for me to pick up then right below them, i found a pair of leather cole hans these were in really good condition and those were only 15 dollars, so that's an easy pickup then moving on down the shelf found another pair of cole hans this model doesn't really justify paying 18 or 17 dollars for uh, I found some Adidas top 10 high tops, but the condition just wasn't great. And then below them were these Air Force Ones. These were $25, but they were custom Air Force Ones, like Nike ID, Air Force One by you or whatever it's called. Uh, so I think the Panda colorway might sell those. And then I also found another pair of Kohans that were just a little too expensive, 25 bucks. So I left those behind. And I found these Hidden Wedge uh, Sky Forces. I, I'm not quite sure what the exact name of this is, but Hidden Wedges can do well. So put those in the cart to look up found a fiesta wear uh, skillet little skillet and with a bunch of other stuff gonna go see if carly's gonna want this or not what do you guys think will that look nice in our living room this what's is, that this is pyrex you found pyrex I found it you know how i have that eye for fiesta wear yeah did you find that look at this skillet i've never seen that before yeah I neither. Mean, Wait, it, that's so it comes cool. with a bunch of other stuff that's so cool yeah i need to look it up okay but I like that lamp. Do you like the shade? Because I just swapped around five different shades. <laughs> yeah, I like the shade. I'm probably gonna leave these because they don't have insoles and they are $20. I probably could sell them for 60, uh, but again, they don't have insoles and they're missing the strap right here. So probably gotta leave these. I think I am gonna pay up for these though. They are custom Air Force Ones, like the Air Force One by you. They are 25. I think since they're like the Panda colorway, they might, might do well. So we're gonna take a chance on those. All right, so here's what we narrowed it down to. Ended up paying $118, kind of expensive. I did spend $30, $30 on some of those not shoes, uh, but I think that these Air Force Ones and these New Balances both would each sell between $60 to $70, so that, that should cover everything that we, we bought. Also just got some Har Harachis, some Cole Hans, these Nikes, but let me, let me show you what I picked up that wasn't shoes. All right, so while Miss Carly was going through everything, I peeped at the glass case and I saw this bad boy sitting in there. Like the case is from '96, I think. I don't, I don't know if they date everything. That's a good year. Everything '96, yeah, it was a good year. Um, not as good as '97, but it was pretty good. I looked through this whole thing and I didn't see anything too crazy. Only one of them was a, uh, I don't know if it's called holographic with Yu-Gi-Oh. I can't remember, but this uh, Kaiser Seahorse right there that one's got the little shiny name um i don't know if these are worth a lot of money i think i'll let you know at the end of the video if there's any gems in here it's just bringing back all the all the mems like i had so many of these i think my brother had the same book yeah like the outside book yeah i just you know when i see things that are nostalgic at the thrift store he I, can't stop I, spending money on them i can't stop myself <laughs> <laughs> all right well we got one more thrift store to go to and then that wraps up our day i have to find rothy's here or oh, you yeah. beat me I, I can't let nice. I know she doesn't win anything I don't <laughs> let her <laughs> oh goodness fingers crossed I have found a lot of Rothy's here lately so the odds of me continuing that streak are slim no, they're not. I mean I guess 
Last stop of the day, and this one was definitely the best. The first pair that caught my eye were these Fear of God Nike Air Skylon 2s. They did a terrible job at showing it to the camera lens, but those were $13. I also found these Asics Onitsuka Tigers, another model that does really well for Asics. I believe these were also $13. Then I found a pair of Nike Kill Shot 2s for $15. That's an easy $49 sell, just a super popular model of Nikes. And then up here on the top shelf, I found a suede, just casual ASIC for a $13 again. So that was an easy pickup. Then these Flyknit Nikes were also only $13. That's another great model of Nike. Uh, those should sell for good money. And then right next to them were these uh, Nike Waffle Ones, but these were $35. So ended up leaving those behind, not quite worth paying up for. And then there was these Nike Flyknit Chuckas for 15. This is another, you know, 50, 60, 70 dollar on a good day uh, model of Nikes. I saw these Echo Golf Shoes. These were unfortunately 30 dollars, but they were Gore-Tex. So I figured I'd put those in the cart to look up the comps because some Gore-Tex Echoes can sell for a lot of money. I found these Platform Vans Skate Highs. They were uh, 16 dollars, but green was half off, so that brought them down to like 8.50, I believe. Then these Nike Air Max 270 Reacts were $25. I was gonna look up comps, but I mean, I know these aren't gonna sell for a whole ton of money and they were a women's size 10, so decided not to pay up for these today. Then I found a couple of other shoes in the men's section. These weightlifting shoes caught my eye for the same reason as the last ones did, but these were 35, not really worth paying up for. And these Johnson & Murphys, I do well with some models and these were made in Italy. So for $13, I was definitely gonna pick those up. And I found a couple kids shoes and Carly found three pairs of, uh, um, what is this brand? Lily Pulitzer. Uh, I, I couldn't leave her talking in because the music was blaring. And I also found these Air Max 90s for five bucks and Carly found some Lululemon. Now, unfortunately, I did have to leave the Vans behind even though they were half off because the sole was peeling. And then right after going through these shoes, they pulled out a cart of new shoes, a restock, and they had a bunch of nice shoes in them. They were kind of pricey. These Jordan 10s were $55, ended up passing on those. I did pick up these Jordan 32s. I think these were 45 bucks and I could see them consistently selling around the $100 mark. So hoping to double my money on those. I passed on these wool 12s because they were 55 or $45, one of the two, and the condition just wasn't really the best and they don't really sell for more than like 80, 90 bucks. I did find these Jordan 1 mids for $40. These I could probably sell for around 80, so another one I'm trying to make like a 25, $30 profit on, but then the best find was definitely these Yeezy 350s. They only price these at $20 and this is gonna be one that sells well over 100 to 130 bucks. So this, this restock really made the day some cool shoes to find at the thrift store. I went back and double checked the restock cart and found a couple more pairs worth uh, at least looking up. These Air Max unfortunately ended up being fake. You can clearly tell by the tag and they were $50. Then I found these Adidas Sam Smiths that were really cool. They had Thor on one half and then the other half was the Hulk. It said not easy being green on the back, but unfortunately these were $40. That was crazy. That just made my day. Um, it was pretty slow before that, but we hit a pretty lucky restock. I did pay up for a lot of stuff. I surprisingly didn't pay up for the Yeezys. Obviously when we get back home, we'll go through check check and make sure everything's authentic. So stick around for that. But we ended up paying $259 for all of that. And I got a hunch that if, as long as everything's real, two of those shoes are gonna pay for the whole haul. Look at that reaction over there. Aww. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you guys back at the apartment and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go over some stuff, make sure it's all authentic. All right, I swear we have so much to go over, but first as promised, I was gonna show you how I were, was gonna attempt to get these stains off the brooks. And I've been using the shout spray, Carly recommended, shout out Carly. 10 out of 10. Uh, this stuff is fantastic. Basically, I'm just gonna you know spray it on the stain, uh, let it sit for a minute. And um, I also, so this is gonna go in the washing machine. I'm gonna set this in the washing machine real quick. And I wash it with the OxyClean. Uh, I have the White Revive just because I mainly use this to clean white shoes, but I also, also toss it in there when I'm cleaning the shoes with the shout spray and this combo right here is undefeated. I'll put links to both of them down in the description if you guys wanna pick them up. Um, as for the uh, the Yeezys and the two pairs of Jordans, I submitted those to Check Check, so we should get an answer within two hours. I paid for the, the two hour turnaround time, which is two credits. I think it's kind of a waste to spend five credits and get it done in 15 minutes. So I'm being patient, we'll get that done. And I think, the only other thing I needed to mention was the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I still gotta go through those and see if I uh, overpaid for those. So uh, I'll, 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 I'll fast forward like 10 minutes and let you guys know. What are all the comments gonna say? You're gonna break your water. What are you eating? Pickle dip. I made this. 
from scratch. What? Little chef over here. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting cracking. All right, the uh, the verdict is out. Do you think, do you think it was a smart buy or a bad buy? All of your rides are bad buys. Okay, so as you see, we paid thirty dollars for the bad boy. I should look up the binder. I bet the binders. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. All these cards are from like two thousand two. Uh, my mom's facetiming. We gotta wrap this up. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I might just get back to this in just a, just a moment. All right, phone calls over. Um, there was a couple in here. The one that I pointed out in the car, like that one, is like a five to ten dollar card in this condition. And then there's there was a spell card. Uh, but um, bump bump the shadow spell. That's another like eight to ten dollar card. But everything else that I've looked up, I got tired after looking up like maybe ten things. Everything was like a dollar to two dollars tops. And there's eighty five cards in here. So I mean, what do you think? Thirty dollars for like eighty five in value? I think it was worth it for your nostalgia. Yeah. But I like agree. the amount of work that would go into selling each card. If I was gonna sell this, I'd sell it as a lot. But I'm not gonna sell it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. This is the start of my Yu Gi Oh card collection. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see if the shoes are real. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the next thing you guys are going to see. All right, so our results. Is something funny? All right. All righty, so our results are in, and we... I'm trying to swipe with my nose here. You want me to swipe? Nope. Oop, missed it. All three shoes passed. Let's go. Let's go. Our neighbors are going to be upset. Who cares about our neighbors? We got some real Yeezys at Goodwill. That's, that's crazy. crazy. I paid $20 for these. That's insane. Also, you want a uh, what's up? Do you want a thumbnail? Yeah, give me a thumbnail. Can you hold that one and that one and just be like, whoa, hold up. But also with the, uh, with, with the, with the Brooks, uh, we still got we still got a little spot right there. I don't know I don't know what the deal Shout is. Shout can't do it all. I guess Shout can't do it all. It, I promise it, it usually works ninety five percent of the time. <sighs> Carla's always locking our door. She's afraid that Spider Man is gonna rob us or something. Um, all these were pretty dirty. Like the I, I didn't show them to you, but all these were just in the wash with it, and they all came crispy, crispy, clean. So I don't know. You can just take my word on it. The Shout you know works most of the time. Is that it? I think that's it. Is that a whole vlog? Yeah, are you not taking them to the gym? Am I not? Are what? you not taking them to the gym? Why would I take them to the gym? I don't You're know. not coming. Guys, he made me get my gym clothes on. He was like, we're going to the gym, and now he's going with Chris, and now I'm going for a walk. Yeah, um, for the record, Chris, you're probably watching this. Uh, it's, it's your fault. Chris, I got all ready. Yeah, because Chris canceled on me, and then I was like, okay, Carly, we're going to the gym now, and then Chris decided to uncancel on me. Mm -hmm. So So here we are. Here we are. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Found some crazy stuff at Goodwill. It was a good day. Did you find some crazy stuff at Goodwill? I found some crazy stuff at Goodwill. Um, if you wanna see another video similar to this one, click this thumbnail right up here over Carly's face. I hope that she's at, the, at a spot where I can cover her face. Um, <laughs> uh, click that thumbnail. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So, there it is. <laughs>